and amiable welcome to everyone this is your alight lectum channel to enhance your understanding today's topic is about autoclave and this comes under moist heat sterilization so here autoclave is an physical method of sterilization and it is a modified pressure cooker autoclave is used in medical laboratories to sterilize lab equipments and waste autoclave sterilization works by heating articles to kill microorganisms such as bacteria and spores the heat is mainly delivered by pressurized steam principle of autoclave so here steam above 100 degrees celsius which is called saturated steam is used as it has better killing power when compared to dry heat and also bacteria are more susceptible to moist heat as it coagulates the bacterial protein very rapidly this saturated steam have the ability to penetrate porous material very easily and also the steam comes in contact with the cooler surface and it condenses to water droplets then it liberates a latent heat to that cooler surface for example if 1600 ml of steam at 100 degrees celsius and also at atmospheric pressure condenses into 1 ml of water at same 100 degrees celsius and releases 518 calories of the large reduction in volume of the chamber sucks in more steam at the same site and this process continues till the temperature of the article is raised similar to that of the steam the condensed water droplets produces a moist conditions at a surface for killing the microbes that are present in the articles components of autoclave so autoclave is also called as modified pressure cooker or boiler and it consist of a vertical or horizontal cylinder which is made up of gun metal or stainless steel which is placed in a supporting iron case then the lid is made fast by screw clamps and rendered airtight by using an asbestos washer the lid also bears an discharge tap for both air and steam and also a pressure gauge and safety valve heat is generally done by electricity then the steam circulates within the jacket and is supplied with high pressure to the inner chamber where the materials to be sterilized procedure first the cylinder is filled with sufficient amount of water and the material which has to be sterilized is placed on the tray inside the chamber then the lid is closed and the discharge tap is kept open and the heater is switched on also the safety valve is adjusted to the required pressure and after boiling of water the mixture of steam and air is allowed to escape from the chamber till all the air present inside has been displaced so this can be tested by leading the escaping mixture of steam and air into a pail of water through a rubber tubing when the air bubbles stop coming out of it that indicates all the air present inside has been now the discharge tap is closed 
and the steam pressure rises inside the chamber and when it reaches the desired level of 15 pounds per square inch the safety valve opens and the excess steam present inside the chamber escapes from it from this point the holding period of 15 minutes is counted and after this period the heating is stopped and autoclave is cooled till the pressure inside the chamber is equal to the atmospheric pressure which is indicated by a pressure gauge and now the discharge tap is opened slowly and air is allowed to enter the autoclave now the lid is opened and the sterilized material is removed from the autoclave note the domestic pressure cooker which is also like an autoclave works on the same principle but may be used for sterilization of small articles in clinics sterilization conditions so here the temperature should be maintained at 121 degree celsius the chamber pressure should be 15 lb per square inch and holding time should be 15 minutes so these conditions are generally used and sterilization can also be done at higher temperatures of 126 degrees celsius for 10 minutes or at 133 degrees celsius then uses of autoclave this is used to sterilize culture media rubber material gowns dressings gloves etc and also it is particularly useful for materials which cannot withstand the higher temperature of hot air oven but this hot air oven is a better sterilizing material for all glass syringes precautions so it is necessary to allow the air from the chamber as temperature of air steam mixture is very low than that of pure steam and also the material should be arranged in proper manner to ensure free circulation of steam inside the chamber sterilization control first thermocouple so it is an equipment that is used to record the temperature directly by using a potentiometer then bacterial spores so here the test organism used is spores of bacillus stearothermophilus this organisms grow at an optimum temperature of 55 to 60 degrees celsius and it is killed in 12 minutes at 121 degrees celsius this spores are killed by using an envelope containing a filter paper strip and is impregnated with spores and is placed inside the autoclave during sterilization after sterilization is completed the strip is removed from the autoclave and inoculated into a suitable medium and incubated at 55 degrees celsius for 5 days if this autoclave sterilizing conditions are proper the spores are completely chemical indicators here brownies tubes are used which contains red color solution and it turns green color when exposed to temperature of 121 degrees celsius for 15 minutes in autoclave autoclave tapes are also used as a sterilization control conclusion conclusion so autoclave is an moist heat sterilization and it is a modified pressure cooker so here heat is delivered inside a chamber by a pressurized steam and autoclave uses saturated steam for rapid coagulation of bacterial protein 
when compared to dry heat so it is used to sterilize culture media rubber material gowns and also dressings and here for sterilization control thermocouple bacterial spores like bacillus stearothermophilus chemical indicators and autoclave tapes are used